Thank you everyone for all your love and support. He's in heaven now. Those are the heartbreaking words from Ryan's daughter, Tatum O'Neill. The two, once estranged for decades, patched up their rocky relationship in his later years. She also shared some recent pictures of her with Ryan. In a statement, she tells Extra, I feel very lucky that we ended on such good terms. Ryan was surrounded by his loved ones when he passed away Friday at the age of 82, reportedly in the same hospital and same room as the love of his life, Farrah Fawcett, who died in 2009. Do you think that you'll ever be ready to love again? Not like that. I was, I was lucky. I was magnificent. No cause of death was given, but Ryan had been in failing health over the last few years. But the world will forever remember him and Farrah as one of Hollywood's most glamorous couples. Ryan was the rock during Farrah's public battle with cancer. What some don't know, the father of four privately fought the disease over the years himself, dealing with three different kinds of cancer, skin, prostate, and leukemia. Born in Los Angeles in 1941 as Patrick Ryan O'Neill, he made a name for himself as a Golden Gloves boxer in his teen years and skyrocketed to fame in TV shows like Peyton Place. Taxi lady! and movies, including Love Story and Paper Moon, where he co-starred with his Oscar-winning daughter Tatum. Anything is possible, but possible don't make it true. Always a friend to Extra, and a great leading man. He came to play for the cameras every time.